hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i want to show everyone on how to export survey data from basic autocad to excel by lisp so let's get started these are some survey drawings i have and um, you can see the drawings with p are the piling points so i have actually set out this set of piling points on, on ground however this new set is what i want to extract and um, set out on site as the surveyor working on that site so to automate the extraction of the instance nothings and if needed in your own case elevations you can actually see how to import survey data with elevations into the basic autocad under the description or the comment section but in this video i want to show everyone on how to export all the set of data as bulky as they are without manually doing that but automating it by the lisp method so let's get started so first off when you have your drawing on your autocad window as you are seeing on the screen then you come to your command line and search for upload or app then the first option is what you will click on so you will go to the folder where you have your lsp file so i'll be using the coorn which is the list programmed file in the course of this video if you are in need of this LSP file, make sure to check under the description of this video to see the download link to get it freely. So you click on the LSP file, then you click on load. So you are going to see loaded successfully, then you click on close. Then the next thing is to come to the command line, then you search for the LSP command, which in this case is C-O-O-R-N. So you are going to see the option popping up you click on that then below you or above you are going to see this list of options all right so you see the peak you see the point you see the blocks you see the polyline or spline you can also see that under the command line the peak points blocks polyline or spline so this is dependent on the drawing you have on your autocad so if you have a point features you need to check on the points if you have a block feature you click on the blocks if you have a polyline feature you click on the polyline however what i want to extract is the point features so i'm going to check on points so you can either check here or you check it here either which way works best so i'm going to check that then you see the next instruction is to select objects so what you will do is to highlight all of the objects you want to extract and export to excel when you are done highlighting and selecting all objects you click on enter then the next instruction is to choose a start number of points that is it is going to id each of the drawing objects in your autocad window so i want it to start from one so i will type one on my command line then you click on enter then it is going to give you an option to save your coordinates that is the format you see the test format excel format or to not to save you can also see that on your window test excel or not save but you will go with the second option excel format then you click on that so it will automatically start extracting all the information of your survey data and it is going to ID it automatically on your windows. So you can see it has already converted and extracted to the Excel format. So you can choose to open the Excel window and you can see it here. So these are my ID 1, 2, 3 to the very last of my filing points. That is 187. So you can see it has extracted all my piling points with the elevations respectively. The eastings, northings, and elevations. So you can minimize. So you can also still see the ID on the AutoCAD window with each piling point and their ID. So that you can fast check 
what the coordinate is here and what it is on Excel. So this is piling point 173. I can use the ID command to check that. So you can see the elevation for this 173 is 76.50. So I'm just going to come to the Excel to fact check that 173. And here it is so you can see it is accurately the same elevations and the same coordinates with what i have on my autocad so this is how to use the lsp tool to extract survey data from autocad to excel so it is very easy and fast to use if you find this video helpful and informative do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as share the video to keep getting valuable tutorial freely. See you in the next video.